In this tutorial you will learn about a way to generate your own transcription factor binding site definitions from experimental data. There are two programs for this in the Genomatic software suite. You find both of them in the patent definition section. Which of them you want to use depends much on how well you know where your factor binds the DNA. If you have data available that tell you more or less exactly where your protein binds, such as DNA's footprinting assays or linker-mediated PCR, you'd use MATDEFINE. If, on the other hand, you know only approximately where the factor binds, for example from chromatin immunoprecipitation experiments that typically give you DNA binding regions of several hundred base pairs, you'd use core search. In any case, you'll need a couple of sequences, four at least, more is better, to generate a reasonable well-defined binding site definition in the form of a position weight matrix. For MATDEFINE, we need short alignable sequences with a maximum length of 100 base pairs. I'm going to upload a file with a few short sequences here. They come from the literature and represent different binding sites for the glucocorticoid receptor that can wear down regulation of the target gene and are therefore called NGREs for negative glucocorticoid receptor elements. The sequences come from human, mouse and rat promoters. to load the sequence. We can use the default parameters here for creating the matrix. If any of the input sequences are too different from the consensus, they are not used for the matrix creation. The rejected sequences are shown in this list. This RAT sequence has a similarity to the matrix below the default threshold of 0.8. The alignment is shown in this table. The red part of the sequence is the core of the matrix, meaning the four neighboring positions that have the highest average conservation. The similarity to the matrix is given for each input sequence. The matrix itself is shown in the next section. Here is the nucleotide distribution with the UPAC consensus and each position's consensus index, or CI, which is a measure for its conservation. The CI profile is also shown as a column graph. Lastly, we have the sequence logo. Here, each position in the matrix is represented by a stack of letters for the different nucleotides. More conserved positions have higher stacks, and the relative height of each letter within each stack represents the relative frequency of the corresponding nucleotide at that position in the alignment. To save the matrix, give it a name. and either create a new matrix family for it, or if you already have one, put it into an existing family. A matrix is now in your personal matrix library. It can be used by you in many of the transcription factor binding site analysis programs in the genomatic suite. You can also access it in your personal matrix library under projects and accounts. Click this link and you get a list of your personal matrix families. For more information, click the family link or the matrix link. Okay, so much for Mattifying. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn how to generate your own binding site definitions from longer sequences such as chipsec peaks, please have a look at the core search tutorial.